Hello you all, welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, what's good? If you are new, hey boo, I am back with another video. So, what's today? Tuesday, okay? So hopefully I have been having a lovely prosperous week so far. And I have not seen y'all in a nice little minute, okay? And so I wanted to come and record and y'all see the title. It may look a little different in my room. I did a little bit of rearranging it. I'm kind of liking a little setup, but stay consistent on your channel, okay? And this video is just gonna be basically for smaller creators, okay? YouTube is a great opportunity for so many different people. If this is something that you are really passionate about, you really love creating content, you like the process of it, you like if you are a creative person, then I would say just stay consistent. Really, when you come and make a channel, I guess this could be something along the lines of how to maintain your channel, how to keep yourself motivated to where you have this consistency with growing your channel. You have to go into everything with a positive mindset. I really do feel like the Lord is going to be the only person that's going to grow your channel. Okay, and so... For smaller creators out here that may be looking at bigger channels and be like, man, I may never get there. You may be doubting yourself. And when it comes to building your channel, the one thing for me, when I started my channel, I came on here with a plan. You have to have purpose and plan when it comes to starting something. Okay, it don't even necessarily have to be a channel. But if it's something that you are passionate about, a lot of it goes into your passions your creativity this things that you love to do a lot of people love creating content this is like a lifestyle for them a lot of people are not really any for the money or no stuff like that they are really genuinely just love to help people they like to create things and so if you are that type of person and you have a channel you have to stay consistent okay the one thing i will say when it comes to starting this channel and i think i have talked about this before i really strongly feel like you should pray over your channel okay when it comes to growing the channel it's going to come with a lot of challenges that you have to be mentally and emotionally prepared for a lot of people believe that coming on youtube recording is just something easy you just sit the phone in front of you and just hit record it's really not that easy a lot of times when people come on with this energy they are just happy they seem excited about life their life seems to be put together i'm going to share the secret formula to why these people seemingly have a happy life because a lot of people like to believe that people come on land and they just fake it you know which is true some people come on land and they are faking their lifestyle they are doing certain things but a lot of times you can tell when people really are happy you know in their life and so they want to come share that energy with other people and so when it comes to creating a channel it's going to be about your reach okay who do you want to reach with this video that you are putting out when you come into certain things this is one thing i had to recognize coming on this channel you have to be the type of person that does not care about whether people like you or not okay if you are the type of person and we are all different everybody deals with things differently when it comes to validation when it comes to acceptance and things along that nature when it comes to being consistent on your channel and just really just going hard throttle building a community of people that you are like-minded and relatable to you can't really care about getting approval of everyone because everyone is not like you so when you come and make sort of content you have to think of your man it's somebody out there that is listening to my videos it's somebody that's like-minded and relatable to me okay this is my friend in my head this is my sister my brother my cousin you know in my head okay the one thing i could say about this platform is that you are going to come across some people that have beautiful spirits okay it's going to come with the cons and i'm going to get into that later on in this video when it comes to staying consistent you are literally going to attract your tribe along the way and that is what's going to make you want to stay consistent on your channel because you know you have this big or small community of people that rock with you okay and so that's what's going to make you want to keep on showing up and stuff like that and all of it comes with the help of the lord because 
you have to be a mentally strong person you have to have some extremely tough skin to really make it and be successful on this platform i feel like a lot of this goes into your mental health as well when it comes to staying consistent on your channel how much mental strength and emotional strength do you really have okay you really don't know any of this until you create a platform and this is one thing i have learned over the years if you are the type of person that has extremely tough skin then you are probably going to make it okay you are going to be going up against so much coming on this platform y'all already know that i talk about spirituality a lot on this channel i always talk about the spiritual aspect behind certain things you have to be built spiritually i feel like in order to be successful on this platform as well when it comes to being consistent constantly showing up giving off this real good positive energy and it's not fake you really have to pray to the lord about everything when it comes to putting out certain videos and certain content I'm always when I when I first started this channel, I had to talk with the Lord. I was extremely hesitant. All this fear, so many different people watching me. I thought about all of that before I started this channel. I'm like, Lord, please prepare me for what it is that I may be going up against. You know, I already talked about spiritual attacks a lot on my channel. I, I had been dealing with spiritual attacks way before I even started my channel. So that's why I came and made spirituality based kind of content. You have to be able to in a sense know how to fight against spiritual warfare when it comes to staying consistent on your channel praying to the lord he's really going to be the only one that's going to grow your channel i feel like he is going to keep the people that is not supposed to be on your channel away from your channel and he's going to bring the people that is meant to be on your channel there that is your community that is your tribe you know and so you always have to give glory and thanks to the lord i know i do but really when it comes to being consistent i've been seeing a lot of smaller creators lately to where i kind of see their frustrations a little bit and that's why i want to put out this video just feeling as though your channel may not be worthy or something like that don't speak down on yourself okay don't downplay yourself when it comes to what it is that you have to offer the world don't put yourself down like that okay i wanted to come in this video be a upliftment to anybody out here that's feeling like i gotta have these many subscribers i gotta have these many views in order to be successful no when you got a winner man state when you have a purpose when coming to do something you are not going to care about any of that type of stuff okay that's why i say it's important that you have a strong relationship with the lord when it comes to building your platform because a lot of things that may be thrown at you as far as spiritual attacks doubting yourself just feeling unmotivated the lord is going to take all of that away from you all of that type of stuff is not really going to matter it's going to be all about your purpose and what it is that you are trying to convey and put out to the world okay the Lord is always rocking and rolling up over here majority of the time. Now, I can't even told y'all plenty of times before that I am human, okay? I'm not going to be coming on here acting perfect for nobody, okay? What you see is what you get over here, period, point blank. I'm not going to be coming on here fronting and faking for nobody. It's either you rock with my content or you don't. I'm not going to be that person. And, and this is another thing with, coming, with staying consistent on your channel. When you come in to grow a community and really attract your true tribe, you have to be okay with hate. You have to be okay with not being everybody's favorite. You have to be okay with the fact that, you see, this is the thing. All of it really goes back to your childhood, middle school, high school. So what type of person were you? Okay, all of that is gonna come out through your channel. If you are the type of person that was never popular or if you were popular, when you get on the platform this is gonna sound kind of weird the way i'm gonna say it but hopefully y'all catch what i'm trying to say if you were the type of person that was never really popular in some kind of way you are not really gonna care about popularity you are not gonna really care about this person not liking you that person not liking you and stuff like that when you get past a certain point to where you don't care about those type of things it's not gonna really bother you that you may not have that big of a channel it's just like when you put out certain things you are trying to reach the people that is relatable to you this is not about the approval of other people okay please remember that when it comes to being consistent on your channel these are for the smaller creators mainly it's not about trying to get everybody to like you you want people to like you for who you are 
not who you are trying to be. When you are trying to win someone's approval and validation, people are going to see through that. They are going to pick up on that really quick. You don't want a whole bunch of fake love and support from people. And so that's why when you come and make a channel, I do feel like the whole popularity thing should fall to the wayside because to be quite honest and this is from the time being i have been up on youtube for two years now what i have learned from my two years of being on here is that being on social media it's like being in high school just a little bit you know you got your people that you rock with y'all sit at lunch together all the time it's nothing but a whole bunch of grown people in high school together that's how it is being on this platform really you do have to be built spiritually in order to tackle this thing because sometimes when you come on this platform, it's really gonna feel like high school, middle school, things that you have went through throughout your life. People leaving hate comments. You know, when you in high school, we always went through that period to where we wanted to be accepted. We wanted friends, popularity. When you are on a platform and when it comes to growing your channel, that stuff, is gonna really fall to the wayside. If you are a secure person and you are sure of who you are, you already know that nine times out of 10, it's gonna be a lot of people that probably are not gonna like you. You have to get to a certain point to where you don't care about those type of things because the content that you are putting out is mainly for the people that you relate with, the people that you rock with, the people that you sit with at lunch every day. You might've got to a point to where you don't care about popularity and stuff like that. And so I feel like that is what's gonna make you wanna be consistent on your channel and keep constantly showing up. It's, I know I keep on talking about the Lord, but the Lord is the only person that's really gonna grow your channel. He is gonna keep you steady going. When you really have a purpose to do something, and this is mainly speaking on type of content that you may make. If you make any sort of motivational kind of videos, advice kind of videos, faith kind of videos, that is a totally different plethora in a platform that is really powerful and influential. That is what the people mostly flock to is faith-based kind of content. And so basically when it comes to being consistent on your channel, you really have to know what your niche is. Um, I have a few different niches on my channel for the people that may come on my channel you come on my channel you just may not know what you may get okay because i really consider myself to be a multi-talented person i don't like sticking to one thing you know i like learning different things i like ha having my hands in different things and so if you feel like you can make a channel to where you can do this you can do that you can do that some of the times and, and this is one thing i have noticed too when you have more than one niche on your channel you are gonna probably have an audience to where it's gonna be up and down with that. Because if you make content about fashion, the people that's really not into that, they're not gonna be feeling those videos, but they be feeling your spirituality content, your life advice content. Now, my channel mainly taps into spirituality and life advice, okay? Those two things go hand in hand. So really I have two niches on my channel, not three, you know? But I like to give my audience a better feel of who I am, okay? My personality. I'm not going to limit myself to one thing, okay? Because I know what it is that I have to offer. And this ain't in no sense, like when I say what I have to offer, like, oh, buy this, um, I'm selling this. Oh, oh, just come accept me, come subscribe to my, that's not what I mean. You have a lot to offer the world. And so you wanna show that, you wanna put that in your channel and see your content. You know what I'm saying? This is not about gaining acceptance, popularity, none of that type of stuff. You wanna show the world who you are okay and that's a beautiful thing when you know who you are and you are comfortable in yourself you want to share it with the world you want people to get a chance to know you want to build some connections with people and that's the beauty in all of it that's the beauty in having a channel showing the world who you are your perspective on life your thoughts and your opinions on things okay your channel that is you that is your brand okay everything about you is your channel and so you want to put that energy into your channel. That is what's going to make you want to be consistent. Focusing on yourself is the main thing I would say. What is going to help you be consistent on your channel? It's a lot of competitiveness. It's just a lot that goes along with this platform. Have the mental wherewithal, the spiritual strength, emotional maturity in order to tackle all of that. You have to learn how to block out certain things when it comes to serving a purpose, when it comes to creating things. Okay? 
because a lot of this negativity this platform has perks but it also have downsides to it too the downsides is negativity competitiveness okay comparisons and things along that nature when you are dead set focused on yourself it's almost going to be as if those things don't matter you are in a room and you are focused on your assignment okay the lord gave you an assignment this is how i'm gonna put this message the lord gave you an assignment and he wants you to deliver you know how you supposed to deliver whenever you had a project to do in class in order for you to get that passing grade you have to focus on what it is that you have to do you got to serve okay when you come on your channel when you have that energy of i'm about to serve in this video today i'm about to come and give this channel my video the best of me i'm about to come and give my audience the best of me okay that is what's gonna make you be successful a lot of people have different views on what they believe success is success does have a lot to do with the growth of your channel when it comes to your subscribers and things along that nature success is completing something getting something done creativity is success individuality is success i told y'all plenty of times on my channel that this platform is extremely competitive okay so you have to stay focused on yourself and what it is that you are coming to do and so when it comes to putting out certain things operating your creativity operating your individuality you know who you are you are staying true to yourself you are not following along what everybody else is doing that's another thing that's going to help you be successful on this platform too and that's why i feel like you shouldn't limit yourself to one thing i feel like every person has a lot of things to offer okay so don't be afraid to tap into your creativity your passions it's so many things that you are great at that you may not even know about that's why i feel like it's important for you to pray to the lord and ask him to reveal to you what your purpose is what your passions is okay your passions and your purpose the main ingredients to growing your channel okay creativity and individuality are the two main ingredients of mind that I feel like is going to help you be consistent and what's going to help you be successful okay and success means different things to people but to me it is not about popularity it is not about validation none of that type of stuff okay who rock with you is who is going to rock with you that's it and that's all you are not coming to try to gain acceptance from every person okay and that's gonna go into my next point negativity okay hate comments on your channel people trying to compete with you it's nothing but a distraction you don't want to get to a certain point to where you are focused on negativity to where it's killing your creativity it's throwing you off focus okay everything comes with a distraction and that's why you need the lord to be constantly holding your hand you need to pray over your channel okay this is the only way you are going to be able to stay consistent on your channel you are going to be going up against so much spiritual warfare and that's why i make these spiritual related content you are going to have a lot of people that are not going to like you that's something that you have to go in knowing that everybody is not going to like you you have to go into it like okay i know everybody not going to like me but i don't care okay you have to have an i don't care attitude being on this platform when it comes to consistency when you are focused on yourself you have your own life you have your own individuality you don't have time to focus on hate people competing with you i'm telling you if you want to be successful on this platform and you want to remain consistent please go into it knowing that you are going to have a lot of people that are probably going to be probably copying your content and i have heard some small influencers talk about things like this to where they feel frustrated because bigger influencers keep on taking their content and they just don't want to make content no more do not let that throw you off that's an attack okay that's a spiritual attack when somebody is copying your content you need to take that as a form of a compliment okay it may be frustrating it may be annoying but if anything that should be a push for you to keep steady going hard throttle okay when you are a creative person and you don't take pleasure in trying to copy off of people stealing people content you are going to be able to come up with a lot okay people that's competing with you copying and stuff like they're not going to be able to keep up with you 
okay that's not anything that you need to be focused on you need to be focused on the positivity the devil is always going to come and try to distract you from what it is that you are passionate about okay do not let the devil throw you off focus with these negative people do not worry about who is not supporting you that's another thing too do not worry about who is not supporting you focus on the ones that are supporting you it don't matter if it's one two or three people out of your entire channel do not worry about that when you put out a video think about that one person that sent your video and it impacted them in some way all you gotta worry about is reaching one person okay if it's only one person to come watch your video and like your video and comment or whatever that's all that matters okay and see this is another thing about this platform that's gonna help you be successful i told y'all opinion times on my channel that i don't have a lot of social media platforms i don't get caught up in all that stuff and i feel like that's what has kept me focused what has kept me grounded okay because when you have an overload of social media attention and stuff like that it can really throw you off focus you know that's why they say social media is the number one cause in mental health okay is because we are not programmed mentally emotionally physically spiritually to withstand all that tension at that capacity like that that's why i don't have tiktok i don't have ig i don't have twitter i don't have none of those platforms because that's too much attention i told y'all on my channel plenty of times before that i don't like too much attention on me i don't care about stuff like that that's why i don't care about really having a large channel if my channel grow bigger than what it is I'm okay with that. If it stay the same, I'm okay with that. You have to be okay and content with what it is that you have. Social media has kind of made it to where people feel like they have to have more and more and more and more and more of things because of views, likes, friends, validation, and popular stuff. A lot of people care about stuff like that. And when you come to try to create something and put something out to the world and it's you, who you really are, none of that stuff is going to matter. And that's what's going to help you be successful on this journey being on the platform okay if you are the type of person you may have more than one or two social media platforms and you are able to manage all of that i really do feel like you need the lord's hand and all of that because i seen something a couple of weeks ago that was very disturbing to me and i wanted to kind of come share it with y'all it was this bigger influencer he was a gaming channel I think he had like eight or nine hundred plus subscribers he's almost close to a million and he ended up taking his life because of social media he was getting so much hate he had ended up losing his man he had so much mental health problems that's why i come on my channel and i promote mental health i'm a strong advocate for mental illnesses and things like that your mental capacity is extremely important okay know when the right time it is for you to get away from social media it's not normal to be on social media all day taking in all that energy Social media is an energy exchange and a lot of people don't see it that way. Y'all already know that I'm an extremely spiritual person. And so having all those different platforms, all that attention from all those people, I wouldn't be able to mentally withstand all of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like our brains are made to be taking in all that attention like that. That can really do something to your mental state. But this bigger influence of this gaming channel, he had ended up taking his life because of the backlash he was receiving on his channel from people. The people on the internet, these are spirits that you are encountering, okay? And that's another thing you need to take into account when it comes to creating a platform, staying consistent, being big and heavy, strong on your prayer life. I'm talking about a strong prayer life a strong relationship with the lord you need to be in your bible heavy being on a platform like this because like i said plenty of times before this platform is not for the weak the internet is not for the weak okay you have to be an extremely strong willed person to be successful on this platform okay you need the lord's help because you don't want to end up losing yourself you don't want to end up losing your man okay this person had a huge channel extremely successful had all types of money and he ended up taking his life okay so that goes to show you that popularity is not enough money is not enough it does not make you happy it is not the end all be all it is not everything what you see on social media is not all what is cracked up to be you still need to know how to come and bring content to where you know that you are being yourself you know that when you turn your camera off you are still the same person that you was before you started recording. 
that's one thing you need to remember be yourself okay that is what's going to help you be more consistent on your channel as well you don't have to feel like you got to be a certain way you got to fake and put up certain facades for people and things like that you shouldn't have to feel like you need to do all that okay like i said you can't care about people thoughts and opinions what they're going to think about you what they're going to say about you people are negative we live in a very wickedly kind of world so that's something that you have to learn how to accept okay you have to have some extremely tough skin and if you are the type of person that has been through a lot of your life before you even started a platform social media shouldn't be nothing but a piece of cake to you okay uh, people throwing spiritual attacks at you people trying to compete with you copying and stuff like that trying to start stuff with you that ain't nothing compared to what you have been through in your regular life outside of social media so that shouldn't even bother you okay so yeah that's another thing when you coming up against spiritual attacks from strangers on land because that's all it is and these people out here just coming on the internet picking for debates and fights with strangers don't focus on people like that okay you know what video you are trying to put out you know who you are trying to reach you have a generation of people that are looking up to you remember this because the enemy will come to distract you in so many different ways please remember this write this down remember that you have a specific person or people to reach you got the younger generation that are looking at you you got family that is looking at you you got friends looking at you even the people that you might have fell out with these people are looking up to you in some sort of way these are the people that are looking forward to your videos they want your influence you got that niece to reach you got that nephew to reach you got those children to reach you got friends to reach you got church family to reach you got so many different people that you have to reach with your videos so do not let the enemy throw you off with this negativity that you are receiving from random people online that you don't even know your messages and videos are for the people that you are trying to reach your testimonies is about your life personal things that you have been through see the enemy gonna always come and make your videos be about them okay that's a distraction that's to stop you from putting out your testimony messages your influence you come in talking about experiences that you had with a fake friend or jealous family member and this hater this stranger whoever it is that's trying to compete with you and copy you they feel like every video that you make is about them it ain't nothing but the enemy you keep it in your mind you tell them baby I got people I need to reach. I got people that I need to influence. It ain't about you, okay? The enemy will always try to distract you and try to keep your focus on him and not the Lord. So don't fall for the tactics. It ain't nothing but a tactic from the enemy. And this is another thing. Be able to recognize and know the enemy when you see him working through people. I told y'all please hands on my channel that the enemy knows how to metamorph himself through so many different people so when you know him you see him and you hear him you are going to know that it's not them it's him that's using him so you stay focused on your purpose and your video your influence who you trying to reach with your videos don't let these naysayers these strangers let that fall to the wayside focus on your purpose you have a strong relationship with the lord he is going to protect you from evil okay even when it comes to being on the internet the people that you are encountering on the internet these are spirits everything is spiritual in its life everything is an energy and spiritual exchange even when it comes to the internet okay so don't let nobody come and cast their negative energy onto you don't let nobody come and project their jealousy and their envy onto you keep continuing to stay focused laser focused on your purpose okay you really need the lord's help when it comes to being successful on your platform that's what's going to make you want to be consistent that's what's going to make you be having this energy to where yeah i want to record today i want to come spread this positivity to somebody else and it's not fake it's not forced it's real and genuine and people are going to be able to notice it energy transcends through the camera okay a person can't fake you are going to have some people that are going to come and watch your channel they are going to know who you are sometimes you don't really have to say much people are going to be able to read your aura and your spirit through your videos okay 
and so you want to make sure that you are constantly putting out some positive something that when it comes to creating a channel and putting out influence as far as motivation and things along that nature that is a different kind of strength that i feel like you should be praying to the lord heavy about because when you are putting out certain kind of videos these videos are nine times out of ten changing people's lives and so you want to make sure that you are coming with the right kind of energy when it comes to putting out certain things because you got people out here taking their life just because they heard something on the internet you know you don't want to be the reason behind why a person want to take their life because of something that you put out like energy is extremely real you want to be exuding positive energy when it comes to creating a platform when it comes to putting out influence really really putting out real influence a lot of people are on here for the wrong intentions you have to be the type of person that knows how to weed through all of that okay know what to accept and what to reject you don't need to take in everything it's going to affect your mental health okay learn how to take social media breaks too okay when you feel like things are too overwhelming you feeling a strong sense of negative energy coming from certain people it's okay to take a break from all that it's okay to pray to the lord okay because a lot of these people that are bringing negativity through the internet they are very intentional with what they are doing okay they want to kill your spirit these are spiritual vultures these are energy vampires these are witches these are warlocks these are sorcerers it's all different types of spirits on this platform and so you need the Lord's help in order to get you through that. You have to be built spiritually, I'm telling you. If you have ever thought about starting a platform or if you have already started a platform and you have a small channel, I'm giving y'all a little bit of my secret formula of doing this, okay? And remember this, when it comes to going up in your negativity, nobody is going to be able to stop what the Lord has for you. That's one thing you need to remember. When you are feeling a strong sense of spiritual attacks from people, you need to remember that they are not going to be able to come up against what the Lord has for you. What the Lord has for you is for you and only you. So whenever you think about recording a video and you hit that record button, you need to remember what the Lord has for me is for me and only me. I'm coming to put out this video for my audience my supporters okay you know you may have some fake supporters but that's what comes along with the territory that's not nothing that you need to be focused on you need to be focused on the positive okay and that is what's going to help you be successful so yes that is just how i'm going to end my video i may come and start a part two i feel like i've been rambling long enough but i just wanted to come and put out a positive message this morning to the ones that's feeling defeated feeling unmotivated don't let social media be your entire life your world you feel like you are unworthy in life because you don't have a lot of followers. It's not about that, okay? When you turn this phone off and you start recording, you are still living your real life, okay? Nobody knows what's going on in your life behind the scenes, okay? Social media, the internet should not impact your reality behind the cameras, okay? Don't let it affect you. Don't let it get to you. Stay in constant prayer and stay consistent, okay? So yes, that is just how I'm going to end the video. Hopefully, y'all got something in this video. Hopefully, it helped you in some way. Continue to protect y'all soul and spirit. And I will talk to y'all in the next video.